Hello and welcome to this OpenTX Quick Tip. Now I have loads of OpenTX Quick Tips as well as the full OpenTX Mix School. I'll put links down below if you want to learn more about how to use OpenTX. The vast majority of pilots will probably only use 20% of what OpenTX can do because it's a very capable system. But if you want to get into the weeds, then this is uh, the series for you. However, this particular video is for a Patreon of mine, a Patreon called John. And John's asking, can you add something called differential and expo to the same control? Because they appear to be on the same list, so appear to be mutually exclusive. And the answer is, with OpenTX, of course, you can. But I thought it, John is asking, there's a very good chance that other of you out there are not aware of this as well. So very, very quickly, let's talk about what Expo and Differential are. Exponential is the ability to desensitize the stick around the midpoint. It helps fly uh, twitchier models. It's a standard thing you would add in a fixed wing aircraft. And in fact, there's Exponential added in things like Beta Flight and INAV and other flight control systems by default anyway to improve the fine control. Differential is something a little bit different. It's more of going to be used in a fixed wing aircraft rather than anything else. And let me just talk about what John has written. He, he when he was talking to me about it, he explained it beautifully. And he said, uh, in a left turn, the aileron that goes down creates more drag than the aileron going up on the other side. And that causes the aircraft to yaw in the opposite direction to the turn, adverse aileron your. So basically what we're saying is we don't want ailerons to move in exactly the same direction, both directions. If you want, what you can do is use something called differential to stop the aileron moving uh, more in one direction than the other. And that's quite easy to add. So now we've just defined our terms. Let me show you how to do it. So here we have, surprise, surprise, an example wing that I've got set up. This is a fixed wing model. Standard for inputs, we don't need that actually, let's just delete that. Standard for inputs, uh, one of which has the exponential at 25%. And then we have our mixes, this just happens to be one of those aircraft that has individual ailerons rather than one aileron channel connected via both ailerons with a Y cable. So if we just uh, simulate how that works, let me just make sure I've got all of the things on screen hopefully there we go we can just, just about squeeze it on with it being the uh, TX16S so what we're going to do is I'm going to move the aileron left and right and you can see look at that it goes to 100% plus and minus now if we wanted to add differential then it's in the same place that we've already got expo so if I want differential oh look I can't have expo However, the way to do it is to always, I'd suggest, add exponential onto your inputs. And that way the exponential is then locked into the input and will appear anywhere that input is then referenced. In the mixes is where you can start to mess about. So in aileron weight, which has taken that exponential from the input, we can also have the chance to add the same stuff in here. This time we'll add differential let's add it to but in fact i'll tell you what let's just add it to one you can see the difference let's just simulate it so now when we move can you see channel two that we've added the differential does no longer goes to a hundred percent one side and if that was in the wrong direction then all we have to do is change the value or the polarity even of that so now it won't go to positive 100 there you go that's how it works so john that's the trick what you need to do is assign your expo in your inputs that's kind of best practice in OpenTX anyway and in mixers add the differential that you want uh let me just add the differential because it just looks really weird not having it on both sides There we go to the aileron control and then you have both of them working in concert to give you the less sensitivity around mid stick and the differential movement on the aileron to combat things like adverse aileron yaw.
Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.